What's up guys, Warnock Revolution here, back at you with another nickel box. And I asked you guys whether or not we should do one, two, or three. This being number one, we're doing this box first. Um, out of the other two box, or out of the, the other three that we did. Anyways, so I haven't even broken this open yet. Hopefully these rolls aren't um, uncirculated, so they're all not 2019s or something. Usually Brinks rolls aren't, but yeah, these are circulated. That's good. Um, yeah, usually Brinks rolls aren't, so I just kind of like took this box thinking that they were going to be on, um, they were going to be circulated rolls, and they are circulated rolls. So I'm just going to check that real quick for enders, and then I'll be right back with you um, to search some. Um, if I do find some enders, I'll show you what they are, of course. But if we don't find anything, then I'll just see you on the first find. Guys, I was just checking this box for enders, you know, and right here is a loose nickel. So I don't know if that's an extra nickel or what, but I'll take it 2016 extra nickel. That's what I'm just going to say. It was an extra nickel. Um, I haven't checked all the enders yet, but once I do, then I'll show you if I find anything. Um, but I did find this ender. So if I don't find any more enders, this is what we're starting with, is this roll that looks quite a bit older. Uh, the back of this Monticello definitely looks older, but nothing on this side, just this one looks kind of old. So if we find some other enders that are great, then I'll show you, but if I don't, then I'll just show you my first find. All right, so like I said before, we only found one ender, this one that looks pretty old. So we'll just open this one up, see what that is. Nothing else looks like War Nichols in there, just checking. And it's a 1970, so it's not even old at all. Um, well, it's, you know, it's decently old, but nothing I would take normally. Right, rule number two at the very end, we get our very first find 1954. So I dropped it. 1954, Denver. I'll take it for sure. Let's see if we got anything else. Nothing else. We got plenty of rolls left. So let's keep on searching. We are in roll number five, I'm pretty sure. We just got this, 1946. Denver, I'll take it. You got anything else in here? That looks kind of old, is it old? 1960, we're getting there for sure. But nothing else, let's continue to see what else we can find. It's been a while, guys, since I've turned on the camera, but we did find something that isn't a nickel. It's a dime, 1999. Giving me five extra cents, I'll take it. Um, see you guys on the next find. So guys, this is roll number 40. It's been a while since I've turned the camera on. But um This one's really dark in here. Thought it was a war nickel. I looked at the back of it and I didn't see a mint mark right away because it's so black. But it does have a mint mark, so it is a war nickel. So it is silver, but it's a 1943. Philadelphia and it, it's just so black I just did not think whatsoever that it was a war nickel especially because I didn't see that mint mark right away I think it was like angled like this so I'm just like okay that's not a war nickel it's an older nickel but what is it and then I flip it over and it's a 1943 I'm like wait a second I gotta flip it back around and there it is it's a Philadelphia mint mark above the Monticello but awesome found a war nickel that's great Add it to the finds, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, guys, we found something. We have five rolls left, and we just found something in the fifth roll. Or not the fifth roll. The, I don't know. Roll number 45. Yeah. 1954 Denver. Awesome. Let's continue to see what else we can find. Well, guys, I knew this was going to happen. It is a Brinks box, it happens, but I didn't think it was going to happen like this, I guess, in the end of the box. We got a penny, 1979 Denver. As we found something in the beginning of the roll, 1952, out of San Francisco, which is awesome because it is a low mintage Jefferson, below 25 million minted. 
1952 San Francisco. I definitely don't find a lot of these. Uh, definitely awesome to find. Any S Mint Mark coin is pretty awesome, but a 52. Definitely don't find a lot of 52 San Francisco's. Find a lot of 52 Denver's, which aren't um, super uncommon. So, anyways, let's continue and see what else we can find. Same roll as that 52 San Francisco we found. We found this 1956 Denver. I'll take it. Let's just see what else is in this roll. Might as well. It's almost the end of it, anyways. Nothing else. But we did find two 50s finds, and that 52S is a definitely good good thing to add to the collection. Let's continue to see what else we can find. All right, guys, we're on the last roll. I know there's a lot of stuff I didn't show you guys, but I'll show you guys in a second what I did find in this box. But we did find this 1949 in the last roll. So let's see what it is. Hopefully it's a San Francisco. Nope, it's just a Denver. If it was a San Francisco, it would be a uh, semi-key, I think. So... It would be a key date on Quinn's um, chart here. Key date below 10 million minted, but it's not um, too special, I don't think. Let's see what's in this roll, though, because I've got you guys here. Might as well check it out. I thought this was going to be a war knuckle based on the side, but it's just a 1964 that's all black. Definitely shows it age. its age, though. I thought that uh, 49 was going to be like a 50D. I really thought it was going to be. But it wasn't. It's a nicer looking 76. I don't think I'll keep it though. I found a nicer 70s earlier. 78. The 78 is definitely better than the 76. Something I would keep. But let's see what we found for the rest of the box. I'll be back with the wrap up. All right, guys, this is what we got for the hunt. We got a 52 Philly. Uh, well, no, 52 Denver, 53 Denver, four 1954 Denvers, a 55 Denver, a 56 Philly, a 56 Denver, two 57 Denvers. Um, I put the cruddiest one in, on top because it's in such bad condition, it's very hard to tell what the date is, but it is a 57 Denver. But it's probably one of the worst coins I've found that's older like this. It's just in terrible shape. Um, 258 Denvers. We got two, or no, three 1940 Philadelphias. A 1943 Warnicle that you can't even tell it's a Warnicle. I can't even get close enough. Well, you can see that. 1943. It's a Philly. Showed that earlier. We got a 46 Philly and a 46 Denver. We got a 48 Philly and a 48 Denver. And then we got a 49 Denver. And for low mintage Jefferson Nichols, we got a 52S, which you saw. Um, for Canadians, we got a 1983, a 1993, and a 2000. And for just oddball coins that shouldn't be in Nichols but are, is this 1999 um, Philadelphia Dime in this 1979 Denver Penny. It's kind of weird that those are in there, but um, it is a Brinks box. Brinks messes up with our coin machines and stuff, and we end up getting pennies and stuff. But um, that's all right. I'm pretty happy with the box. We did get a Warnacle. That's awesome. We got a low mintage coin, which is also awesome. Not too many Canadians, which I'm kind of pleased about because... Well, if they were older, I'd keep them, but like these ones, I'm not even going to keep these ones. But um, I'll be keeping all this stuff, because I like that stuff. I like all the, you know, the the pre, um, pre-60s pre coins. I think they're awesome. No buffaloes this box, but hopefully we'll get some on the next box. Hope you guys liked the hunt. If you did, please like the video, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below your thoughts. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.